G'day mates, how you going? Hey guys, it's Bella and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an incredible day today. As you probably guessed from the title, I'm doing a clothing haul, but this is no ordinary clothing haul. This is literally the best clothing haul in the entire world. I'm actually so excited you guys are gonna die. <laughs> Alternate title could be, I can't pick an aesthetic to save my life. So let's just get into it. <laughs> Shall be. As I do with every single clothing haul I ever do, I'm gonna show you my shoes and accessories that I got first. I got two bags. These are my only accessories that I got. And I got them in black and white because I feel like, you know, stable colors, although I really love one in pink, but I can't find one. I've got a sewing machine now and I'm teaching myself to sew. So I'm actually gonna try and make myself one. <laughs> How fun's that? Anyway, yeah, I got both of these off uh, Princess Polly. Okay, shoes. I got four pairs. I'm just going to brush over them. I got, I mean, are these not the cutest shoes you've ever seen in your entire life? Hello, these are just some pink high top converse. And I'm obsessed with them. I love pink. And these are just so cute. Cute little twist on like a staple shoe. And um, yes, they are a staple shoe. So I also got them in black because I just feel like these with everything and I needed a pair thank you then I also like literally all of the shoes I got are just stable shoes that uh, I didn't have and every time I was putting together an outfit I was like could really go with just like a pair of Vans or a pair of Air Force Ones or a pair of Converse I didn't have any so I bought them all so I got some Vans just the plain black old school ones and some Air Forces just the plain white ones okay Let's move on to the clothes. Okay, so as I do with all of my clothing hauls, I'm just gonna go through everything brand by brand because I think it makes it easier and more coherent. First up is Monkey, or Monkey, I'm not really sure. I only got one item from them and it was just this plain little lilac tee because I thought it was cute, cute little color. Next up is Glassens. I'm also gonna try not to talk about everything too much because I used to do that a lot in my old clothing hauls and there was just way too many clothes here for me to be doing that. First thing I got from Glassens is this cute little um, bright pink top. I love the shape of it, but I really wanted to get something like this to wear with a, an oversized suit set because not only is it more form fitting, which is perfect, like you need something more form fitting when you're doing a whole oversized suit set, I feel, but also it just brings something a little feminine to a more masculine look, which I love. Then I just got this little baby blue tank top because I just feel like it's a staple you know pop it on with um, some vans or some converse and some blue jeans and it's just a cute simple fit I also got this cute little pink mini dress with all these polka dots hearts no roses all over it it has a little slit at the bottom and I really wanted to get like just a cute little pink summery dress even though we're like going into winter here in Australia but it's never really winter in Brisbane like I'm wearing t-shirts and dresses smack bang in the middle of the winter the only time I can wear a jumper is like very morning or late at night in winter here kind of sucks because I love the cold I also got this pink ribbed knit top which I just again thought was really cute and you can style I mean all of these pieces that I got, I got to style in a whole bunch of different ways. I, as I said, cannot pick an aesthetic to save my life. So I love um, mixing and matching all of the pieces that I got. Let me know if you guys would like some styling videos, fashion videos, and what kind of styling and fashion videos you would like, because I'm down for that, baby. The next item I got are these like cargo jeans, I would say. Although, you know what really annoys me about these? This here is twisted. And it just... Ugh. But I love these. They are jeans, but they're more of a statement piece than just normal jeans. So they kind of, you know, give, give a little more oomph. Also from Glassens, I got these really cute, what is this, like plaid? pants and I love them they're such a vibe honestly and not only do they go really nicely with just like a plain white top and they're enough of a statement in themselves that they can do that but to wear them with like an oversized sweater that you like tuck up into your bra so it's cropped oh next up I just got this white long sleeve button up knit tee which I just thought was like kind of a staple going into the colder months here 
And because it's buttoned up, this also not only works really cute as a top, but also as a cardigan. And the last thing that I got from Glassens is just this high neck, uh, long sleeve top, which I purely bought to wear under like vintage and band tees because I just think that's a vibe at the moment, is it not? Okay, that was everything from Glassens. I'm gonna show you um, two pieces I got from Revolve now. So I just got this high neck tie up, super groovy pattern. It's backless and I love it. I think this is such a vibe. And the last piece I got from Revolve, these pants, does anyone else have this issue? Like I have thick thighs and a smaller waist. My waist is like a size eight, but my thighs are like a size 10. And then if I want something to be oversized, I have to get either a 12 or a 14 for it to be oversized around my thighs. The issue with that is my waist is a size eight. So <laughs> these are so ridiculously big around my waist, but they fit so nicely around my thighs thighs. I've just come to accept life that most 99% of the pants I buy are gonna have to be bigger around my waist and I'm gonna have to go get them hemmed. My next item, this is the only item I got from this brand. It's a brand called Weekday. It was on sale. <laughs> Literally like 95% of the stuff was on sale. It was just mwah, oh, all of the sales lately. Anyway, I've been looking for the perfect black oversized blazer for the longest time because I just, I think they're a staple. And this is the absolute blazer of my dreams. It is so perfect. It's so oversized, but not like I'm drowning in it. And I just, I love it. Okay, let's move on to Zara. So the first item I got from Zara was actually to match in with the black blazer so I could wear them as like an oversized suit set. And so I just got these um, super long oversized suit pants. Oh, this next item from Zara is so cute. Look at the color of these pants. I love them. They're just like these lilac long length pants. They're balloon leg, which is so perfect for me and my body shape. They fit like a dream. And I could just think of so many ways to style this and this color. I love them. Whether you do monochromatic, whether you just have these as your statement and wear a plain white cropped singlet or plain white cropped tee or if you color block and put like a yellow tee with this i love the next two items i got from zara i got because these are just absolute staples they're gonna go with everything i just got a black and white bodysuit they're like a slinky material very stretchy i got this little knit beige bra type thing and i just thought this would be really cute kind of like under a suit set or even like under a kind of white button-up blouse that's like maybe a little bit unbuttoned and the last item i got from zara are just these plain white suit pants these are the biggest staple in my closet i wear white suit pants so much because not only would i wear them like out clubbing i mean I would do it because I'm dumb and then I would spill stuff on myself. I would wear them clubbing, I would wear them to a nice dinner, but I would also wear them like just out shopping because there's so many ways to style this. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. Okay, next brand that I have here is Princess Polly. Um, and I bought all of this stuff when they were having like a 40% off sale as well. Like the sales, you guys, have been so good. The first item I got is just this little yellow like lettuce hemmed cardigan i thought it was so incredibly cute and i really want to wear this with like a yellow mini skirt or like a yellow mini dress and wear this on top of the dress i think that would be such a cute outfit the next item i got is this beige ribbed top which can also be worn as a cardigan i love that all of these little like ribbed knit tops can be worn as both a cardigan and a top it's so cute i always feel like i have to talk about every item but if I do, we're going to be here for so long, so let's move on. I got this little baby blue top slash cardigan. I'm so obsessed with this color, but this is actually the softest thing that I've ever touched in my entire life. And I just want to live in it for the rest of my entire life. Thank you. I got this zebra print skirt, which is kind of like a denim material. It has a little slit at the bottom, but oh my goodness, is this so big. Normally when I shop with Princess Polly, I've noticed that their sizes tend to run quite small. So I'll either go up one to two sizes even. Um, so I went up to a size large in this 
And I would even recommend, like, if you guys get this skirt, maybe going a size down, because I'm normally a size medium or a size 10. I reckon I could go a small in this because it is so ginormous. The next item that I got is this um, pink top slash cardigan, and it has this lace detail at the bottom of the sleeves and the shirt itself, which I just love. This goes so cute on top of a little pink dress. I styled this with that um, pink glasses dress that I had, and I just buttoned the top button, and I just thought that was such a vibe. The next item I got from Princess Polly is probably one of my favorite items in this haul. I am so incredibly obsessed with it. It is just this like creamy off-white um, button-up blouse. I love the way that this sits on me and I love the sleeves. They have these little tie-ups that go around the ends of the sleeves. I don't know what kind of cut you would call it, but I'm actually so obsessed with it. Oh, and this is definitely also one of my favorite items from this whole haul. I'm uh, in love and it's just this little yellow button-up t-shirt which I just I could not love more I genuinely could not love it more because yellow is my favorite color but I also feel like it's really hard to find like really good wearable yellow pieces but that I have been wearing to death I'm obsessed so the last item that I got from Princess Polly I just popped on because in my clothing haul I don't know if I was either too lazy or just forgot to style this how I would style it out of the house because this top alone is definitely too risque for me personally and maybe some of you guys as well to just wear out of the house. So this is how I would wear it out of the house with just like a little tank top underneath. Yes, I am wearing my pajamas. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is how I'd wear it out of the house with just like a little, a little tank top under. Oh, and getting changed again makes me realize that I actually forgot to include this because this... Um, like jumper that I'm wearing right now is part of the clothing haul. I got it from Zara and holy shit Holy shit. This material. What is it? It's so comfortable and soft. It's ridiculous Okay, and that is everything I got from Princess Polly. So let me show you what I got from ASOS. This has to be my number one favorite piece that I got from this haul because I cannot tell you how long I've been looking for the perfect oversized leather jacket. It just, it's so hard to find one that is the perfect length and then if they are the perfect length, they're like not wide enough. They're too just like long line rather than oversized if you understand me. This is the oversized leather jacket of my dreams and it is genuinely so incredibly perfect. This has to be like my number one staple in my entire closet. An oversized leather jacket goes with everything. The next item that I got are these black and white plaid. This is plaid, plaid pants and they are just such a vibe, are they not? Oh, Jiminy Crickets. This the, the three pieces that I got from ASOS are such a good outfit like all together like the leather jacket those pants and then this this is from ASOS but it's from the brand and other stories and it's just a um, plain white knit turtleneck but it's beautiful and it's so soft and it's not itchy. I got one item from Pretty Little Thing that I haven't been bothered to snip this tag off yet. That's why I haven't taken it off, there you go. <laughs> so I just got this oversized leather blazer. It is such a vibe and again, I've been on the hunt for the perfect oversized leather blazer and this fits me so perfectly. Getting oversized things when you're not a size six is actually really difficult. <laughs> so I got three items from the Iconic. First up, I got this little lavender lilac crop top, which I just thought was really cute. And so many different ways to style that as well. And then this, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is again, like, I know you guys are probably sick of hearing me say the word. Let's, like, honestly, if you were taking shots for every time I said the word staple, you'd probably be on the floor, pass out, and need your stomach pumped by now. But this is a staple. <laughs> it's just an oversized gray sweater, but there's so many ways to wear this, whether you just, like, want to be like me and bum it at home or you can just you can actually make these look so chic there's so many different ways to style these and to dress them up while also being super duper comfortable and the last item i got from the iconic are these iconic pink jeans i love them so much they're from the brand w n t r m s e and the fit of these pants are so incredible they have a small waist but they have these really wide thighs so they actually fit my waist and they're actually baggy on my thighs at the same time. It's a miracle. So the next item I got, this is the only item I got from this brand. It's called Musée Paris. And it's just this like olive khaki oversized blazer. And oh my God, the fit of this. This is the most perfectly fitting oversized blazer ever. I wish they made this in black because this fits 
even better than the black oversized blazer that I got from weekday like this is ridiculous I am so obsessed with the fit of this um this is the only item I got from this brand as well this is a brand called Arnsdorf and this is actually a full length singlet which I already have both in this color and in gray because I'm so obsessed with the like racer cut of this it's phenomenal but I really wanted a cropped version so I just bought it and cropped it myself okay next up I got a couple pieces from Verge Girl so this is the first item it's like this green mini skirt but oh my god the material of this it's like a slinky material I also got another mini skirt from them this is just like a silk um lilac mini skirt with a little slit at the thigh and this is the last item that I got from Verge Girl it's just this really cute cardigan it's so cozy but it has like little bits of like silver like tinsel sort of but some green a little bit of purple a little bit of pink I just love it I also got one item from Zulu and Zephyr and their sizing is always very confusing because they're models their models are like models like they're skinny little things but they're size 10 so I'm like, shit, what size am I then? Because I'm normally a 10, but I'm not that. Anyway, I had to get these in a size 14. And they're nice and loose around my thighs, but oh my god, they're like 10 hundred sizes too big around my waist. Why can't I just be proportionate? <laughs> Why is my body so oddly shaped? I got four vintage shirts. The first one I got is from my faves at Gone Tomorrow Vintage. This has to be my favorite vintage shirt I've ever bought it doesn't look like much and it's just an aquarium top like it's literally from the aquarium of New Orleans and it's just fish but look at the colors of the fish are you kidding me it goes with so much and then the next three that I got are from a vintage store called Million Wolf Vintage first one I got is this little racer top which I just love I feel like these are so cool these like racer tops I really really want a white version of these racer tops but I just haven't like found the perfect one yet then I got this little one with like this I don't know these blue flames are so cool and all the colors in this shirt are just so cool aren't they and then this one this is a classic Harley tee but I had to get this one because I just love this attitude is everything thank you very much I got two items from Net-A-Porter the first one is from a brand called 90% are you kidding me with this top how cool is this top what like ser seriously what I love this so much and then I also just got um, this plain white tee from Cotton Citizen this is the Tokyo crop tee and this and the redone white tees are my perfect white tee I feel like it's so important to find your perfect white tee because they are like the number one staple in your closet I got one item from the brand with jean look how cute this material is I think I maybe should have gone a size down because these like booby bits are quite big on me maybe I just have small titties and then I also got one top from the brand by Terry and I live for by Terry I think their stuff is so cool because I love this like toweling material it's awesome so I got this beige like boxy shirt like as I said it's like a towel material and I don't know why but I just love that next brand I'm going to talk about is Levi's I got four pairs of jeans from Levi's because I pretty much live in jeans and I've now found my two favorite pairs of jeans and if you guys are like me and you have thicker thighs and a smaller waist Levi's is it I'm telling you so good so the first pair of jeans I got from Levi's are these balloon leg jeans and these jeans are so good that I could literally lounge around the house in them which is not something you hear about jeans very often because they're not the comfiest things ever but these are because the leg is so nice and baggy around my thighs but it fits so well around my waist not something I experience very often and so I bought them twice because I wanted a white pair of jeans and then I bleached them white myself because I couldn't find them in white I actually if you guys do want to know how I bleach my jeans I did a TikTok on it my TikTok is Isabella underscore Fiori <laughs> Mia went viral on TikTok but like I did like a cursed TikTok of Mia because she's kind of fucked and I thought it would be perfect for her and then it got 3.7 million views and it has 1.1 million likes what go Mia the next two pairs of jeans I got from Levi's are the same pair they're the rib cage high rise straight leg jeans which can you believe this is a straight leg pair of jeans that fits my waist and my thighs I wouldn't believe you if you told me but they do and they're incredible and I love them I got one item from the brand Sir the Label 
and it's just this bodysuit that crosses over at the back and then it's like backless. It's so beautiful. Um, because it is a stretchy material though, I would recommend going a size down. I wish I went a size or two down, but I think I'm just gonna have to use like body tape at the sides. But yeah, this bodysuit is so beautiful. It's like a plain white bodysuit and then like party in the back. Okay, this is the second last item. I'm so sad this haul is coming to an end, but I got one item from the brand Paloma Wool. Such a cool brand. They have so many cool pieces, but I just got this little green um, tie-up little crop top, which I love. And this would also look so cool with the like under the um, big oversized suit set because it's nice and form fitting. It's a little pop of color and it's nice and feminine. My husband, not least. Sad times around here. So I got a pair of black tracksuit pants. These are from the brand Pangaea and they make my absolute favorite tracksuit pants in the world. They have three colors already. I have the red and yellow, both the hoodie and the sweatpants. I have black and I have the like lilac purpley color. These are the best fitting tracksuit pants that I own. They're also the most comfortable and like chic. So I actually bought this black bear because I wanted to be able to wear my tracksuit pants out of home in like a chic kind of way where I wouldn't really look like a bum. So I, <laughs> I wanted a black pair that I could pair with like a cropped white singlet or a cropped white top and uh, that I could leave the house in and still look presentable but also very comfortable. Ooh! So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know if you guys do want to see some styling videos and what kind of styling videos you want to see. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!